Oh my gosh. This is a weird video for me to be making, I feel like. <laughs> I don't want, ah oh gosh, this is a really hard video to make. <laughs> it, it's hard to explain the decision of pushing back your show and feeling good about that decision. If you're looking at it from the outside of this industry or if you're just getting started in bodybuilding because there's always so much hype around going into your shows and and we as competitors create that hype right like we create the hype of the countdown and the lead up um, because it is important for a lot of people myself included to have a time-based deadline when it comes to your goals and everything like that um, and I do function in that way but I think a good place to start with is to be like really open and transparent about what I want for my future with bodybuilding. I don't think I've ever really like explicitly stated to anybody except like my coach and my parents and my brother that I, I not only want my pro card in the bikini division, I not only want to go to Olympia, but one day I do want to be the best in the world. And so I think that we just kind of need to go through what kind of led us to this point. And hopefully it'll help somebody who might also go through something like this and how things can really impact your body. Okay, I have talked about this a couple of times on my channel about after coming out of my season last year, last year was my first like full season in bodybuilding, doing multiple shows. I have done shows before in the past, very far and few between each other. And so this was the first time I did like a string of shows and then went into an off season. I did not follow my reverse appropriately. And so when that happens, you don't really allow your metabolism to heal as best as it could after being down-regulated for so long in a prep. I put on more body fat than at, at a quicker rate than I would have wanted to in a productive off-season. Like literally the day after Christmas, I started my mini cut and so that we could um, get my body composition in a better starting place so that going into this new season, I would be able to start prep from a better place physique wise. Pretty much from the day after Christmas until mid-March, I was in a slight deficit. So we did a mini cut. Um, and then our body was like, our body composition was pretty good. Like we really had done a good job at recorrecting things considering the damage I had <laughs> done in my off season. Then we went into our prep. And so that's just like digging more into a, a caloric deficit, digging more into more and more cardio. And you know, this approach has been moderate. It's not like I was not eating any food or doing crazy amounts of cardio. like. It wasn't until a few weeks ago that my cardio went up to 65 minutes a day. The protocols weren't that extreme. It's just, if you look at the timeline, I think after coming out of a long show season last year, trashing my reverse, my metabolism never healing, putting on a fast amount of body fat really quickly, and then going into another six months of a deficit, my body would just look tired. So basically what happened was Friday, I did my check-ins. Um, at this point, we were two weeks out. I sent my check-ins, I had a new low. I hit 113.8. Went to the gym, got my posing session in. And, you know, for some time I've been a little stressed because my glute tie-ins have not been showing. And last year, throughout my entire season, even like going into my first show, my, my glute tie-ins, you could see a hint of my tie-in starting at like seven weeks out, something like that. And then I had glute tie-ins all through my season going into all three shows. So 
to be two weeks out and not see any kind of detail in my in my glutes and my hamstrings was concerning and I've been very concerned about it I'll have a refi day and then we'll dig refi then dig and core wise and in my front shot conditioning is there but the back side <laughs> is not then I'm like recording through the day and Alex gave me my check-in response where we were gonna push a little bit more into our depletion. Then he starts texting me and is like asking me all these different questions about like how I felt with like, if I was able to get a pump during my workouts, if I felt at all filled out when I was um, after my refeed days. And so I'm sending him back like pictures of my posing and stuff days after my refeeds and there's no pop, like there's still no detail. This is something that's really important to, to note in all of this is that if you don't have a relationship with your coach, you guys can be open with each other about where you're at, where you're at and what the strategy is and what each other is thinking, then you're really gonna be up against it. If you can't have these type of open conversations with one another, then like you're just gonna be set up for failure. The last thing I would ever want as a competitor is for my coach to let me get on stage knowing I'm not ready. And the last thing I would want my coach to think of me as a client with the goals that I have is that I'm not willing to do the, the work right now that's gonna help us reach our end goal. The, so the original plan was stepping on stage for a regional show as a warm up because I'm already qualified for nationals. So the regional show that was in two weeks was just to like get some time on stage, test out the look, test out the peak, see how we're looking, perfect it two weeks later going into the national show to attempt for my pro card. He basically was like, I know we'll be fine at regionals. Like <laughs> that was kind of like, a, that was like for us, but he was like, I know we'll dominate at the regional. Like that's not a big deal. He basically said with USI's being so soon after that regional show, I think it would be setting you up for failure going into that show. The issues that we're having right now around your body's ability to pop and the conditioning, that's not gonna be solved by the time we get to USA's. And so I basically told him like, let's pull it off the table. And like the regional show too, like why, why continue down this path? If the issues are conditioning's not there because my body's kind of like, pushing like working against us at this point and it's too tired to even get the pop there with the muscles I'm probably muscle wasting at this point there's no point in continuing to dig for two weeks to step on stage for a show we don't even need to do it's like we would hit a fork in the road and one fork leads me to my goals and the other one leads me away from it like why am I gonna go down the one that leads away from my goal he's like I don't need you to do it and I was like perfect let's reverse right now so the plan now <laughs> is we're walking my food up. My cardio has been decreased a bit. I have um, some deliverables he's asking from me surrounding my training. That is like the focus over the next couple of weeks. And then depending on how my body looks from there is gonna determine what the rest of this season looks like. Honestly, I felt so relieved. Like once the decision was made, I felt so relieved for a lot of reasons. As a competitor, your goal should be that each time you step on stage, you're bringing a better package than the last time you stepped on stage. And I was really feeling like, I don't think I'm bringing a better package than last time. And you truly, you can never control where you're gonna place, like ever. Like, you really can't. You just, you have zero control on show day, but what you can control is that you're bringing a better package every time, you're improving every time. And if I'm not improving the next time I step on stage, then what am I doing? Having those concerns, and it's really hard when you're in prep to like, not, they ha to look at your body objectively. Alex confirmed what I feel like I've been seeing. It helped, it, it did reassure me that I have been, in some respects, seeing myself as objectively as I could. That is the growth that I want as a competitor, to have a better eye in this sport, not just with 
other competitors and learning from other competitors and other athletes, but for myself too. I really want to develop that skill set. Being able to sharpen that tool, even looking at myself, was a big milestone for me. And there was a lot of reassurance in that Alex and I can have such a, like a collaborative discussion and strategy and openness about the direction we're trying to go. I felt instantly like excited and empowered and ready to do everything I can to get myself to that next level. Something else that I haven't really vocalized <laughs> Probably to anybody. I've harbored a lot of guilt surrounding my off season and like how I handled it. I believe that like if you want to be a pro athlete, you need to act like a pro long before you receive that status. And through my off season, I don't feel like I operated in that respect. Throughout this prep, I really felt like that was gonna hold me back. That was my belief system was that I didn't earn my place on the national stage as a com with a competitive physique because of how I handled things six months ago. Whether that's true or not, like that has been my belief system. And the second wave of relief that has ha like that came through when we decided to change things and that we're gonna have to like reverse and slowly bring up my food again and I'm gonna have to do like a mini reverse kind of thing. I felt like, okay, I have a second chance to do, do what I should have done six months ago. I have an opportunity right now to correct the mistakes that I made and to act like a pro right now. And I'm not saying that that is going to equate to me having a pro card. I just think like internally, it's almost like I have a checklist of like how I should be functioning at a pro level and like where my mind needs to be, how I need to approach situations. And that has been a box that I have not been able to check and I want to check it so bad. I just feel like vindicated and proved to myself that I'm capable of doing it. I'm really happy about this decision. I'm relieved about the decision. I'm ready to take on this next phase of what I need to do to get me to the next level. And that may mean that I can do a national show at the end of August. It might mean that my body's not ready until October or even December, or I go, I just scrap this year and I don't do national run shows till next year. But whenever I step on stage again, I will be bringing a better physique. And that is what matters. That is what I care about. And that is what, that is how I'm going to lead the remainder of the in season, off season, whatever it is. It all is focused on bringing my best the next time. Your best physique is built in the off season. And that's not just around your muscularity, that's around your metabolism, your hormone health, your overall well-being. That is all done in the off season. So if you are in a contest prep right now, or you're coming to the end of it, it doesn't matter what stage you're in, be prepared to continue following your reverse plan after your show. Be prepared <laughs> to be hungry, because right now my food is up, but I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. The hunger cues are all still there like they were a couple days ago, if not more. And that's just a part of the process. And so I'm going to take you guys along as I go through these next few weeks because this is going to be a new process for me and I'm going to document it because I want the accountability. I want to share this experience. I have done the opposite and now I want to do it the right way. So I'm still locked in. We are still going to vlog. Nothing is changing. I'm, I'm still basically in prep. I am still in prep right now. So none of that has changed. We just have higher calories and we just don't know what show we're doing yet. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I appreciate this community more than you guys will ever, ever, ever know. And I just, I just want to, 
I just want to be the best in the world. <laughs> but you have to do the things now. You have to do the work now. If no one's told you today, I love you. I believe in you. We got this. Bye.